Hello everyone, it's lovely to be back with you at South Kilvington. Um, even though I'm not with you, I did see a few of you the other day when I um, came up to the school. But collective worship today, um, we're going to follow a similar format to what we have been doing. So I'm going to light the candle and say the words that we usually do. So, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, a light that no darkness can quench. So the, today I am going to tell you a story. And it's a story that I think is very appropriate um, for our collective worship. Jesus is the special friend of children. He once told his disciples that the angels of little ones are always very close to God in heaven. Children are so trusting. They are very, very special to God. He thinks of every child as a special treasure. The parents who had heard Jesus preach knew this. So one day a group of them brought their children to him. They asked if he could put his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples said, go away. Can't you see the teacher needs to rest? Don't waste the teacher's time. He's got more important things to do than play with babies. But Jesus grew angry. He shook his head. No, he said, don't send these children away. Let them come to me. He looked at his disciples and used the children to teach them more about his kingdom. The kingdom of heaven belongs to anyone who is as trusting and willing to believe and accept gifts as these little ones. Only those who are as humble as children will enter my kingdom. Then Jesus stretched out his strong hands. He touched the heads of all the babies and little children who stood around him. He hugged them and held them close. He whispered into their little ears and made them giggle. Mothers laughed as the children came running back into their arms. The disciples looked on and joined in the fun. They even smiled. Better than anyone else, the children knew what Jesus meant when he said, come to me. We're in some very strange times at the minute and we can't always be with our family and we can't always be with our friends, but we all know that Jesus is with us. And this is what I think we need to remember, that when times are really hard, we're not on our own at any point. And we can always talk to Jesus and to God, because it's really important to know that they're there for us and that he, they will look after us. So what I'd like to do now is to say a little prayer. So if we can just be quiet for a minute and think about this. Wherever we are, every hour of the day, whether we're at work or busy at play, God is always with us. When we're feeling happy or perhaps a bit sad, during the good times and the bad, God is always with us. At school or at home, with friends or on our own, God is always with us. Morning, noon and night, every single day, Weekdays, special days, high days and holidays. God is always with us. Thank you, God, that you never leave us. Amen. So that's what I want you to think about, is that, you are, that God is with us. And in these strange times, even if our friends aren't around and things are different, we've always got someone with us. So I thought we'd, we'd finish off now and say the Lord's Prayer that we say usually when we're, we're all together in school. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I hope you all have 
a lovely last few weeks of school for some of you, home for some of you, and a lovely holiday, and we'll all be back together again in the autumn.